Red roses, a tribute to the half a million lives lost to COVID-19, laid in the sand of Rio de Janeiro's famous Copacabana Beach. 500 in all, each representing 1,000 deaths to mark the grim milestone of Brazil's pandemic death toll. This is the result of a government who has disrespected every sanitary measure and sought to relax mask wearing. It's madness. As it approached the tragic mark on Saturday, thousands of people across Brazil took to the streets to protest President Jair Bolsonaro's response to the pandemic. Brazil has posted over 2,000 deaths per day in the past week, and numbers are rising as the country enters the winter season. Many Brazilians are placing the blame for this high mortality rate on the example set by President Bolsonaro, whose government is being investigated for the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. The ongoing congressional inquiry has focused on government failures to secure vaccines and its promotion of unproven treatments, such as chloroquine. To date, less than 12% of the population has been fully immunized in Brazil, which ranks second only to the United States in total number of COVID-19 deaths. Epidemiologist Roberto Medroño says Brazil is likely to surpass the United States if it hasn't already, due to underreporting. Reaching 500,000 is not exactly accurate, because it is more likely that the COVID-19 death toll in Brazil is close to 600,000 due to the lack of verification, and above all because there has never been a national plan to fight the pandemic. In the meantime, Bolsonaro welcomed the Copa America football tournament, where more than 80 people have tested positive so far, including players and staff, with two more weeks of play still ahead. From the beginning, I have said about the pandemic one thing. I regret the deaths, but we have to live. But on the beach this day, a floral reminder of COVID-19's terrible toll on Brazil what many health experts say is the consequence of science denial. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.